Welcome back to Triple R. This is Captain's Wager. It's a card game I picked up from the Thrift for $2.50. It's a very nice box. Uh, components are good. It's made by Gray Fox Games. Uh, nice components. So to get a chance to play through this, it's a little long for what it is. So you have encounter cards, crew types, uh, treasure cards, different levels of play. Um, pretty small text and a pretty long rule book. Here's your layout. So it goes in phases, which is kind of annoying. It's, very, it's longer than it needs to be, in my opinion. Two player variants, what we had to play. Uh, so these encounter cards, bonus item cards. So it's more of an unboxing and a little bit of a review. Because I'm not going to go through a playthrough because it's kind of long. Uh, this one I think came with an expansion. It has these haunt tracks. So it's a different um, version of the game that may be better. Uh, I think you need more than two players. So I didn't get a chance to play this. The art is pretty cool. You have the Maelstrom crew here. No, oh, rather the Maelstrom crew. Never mind. There's <laughs> um, your player card. So these are all nice. It gives turn order. Everything's laid out pretty well. Uh, different colors, I think, associated with different monsters. And these are all the same. And then your hot track. But they're very nice. So all the components are very well made. Uh, I'm not sure what went in there. but So it's got these tokens. So you have to deal with gold. It's like a bidding thing that goes on. Uh, <clears throat> more tokens. Not a huge fan of that. So more instructions. So this is the Maelstrom. So this, I think, goes that like expansion that came with it so let's take a quick look at the cards here so these so the different phases it's a crew card i think that should go in there but they're they're mixed in the there's like a little symbol somewhere on here that tells you if it's expansion or not so that's why they're not in here you have these different color decks so you're going to choose your color if you're going to be purple uh, blue i think it's a little pirate token I think it's the player token. I might go on the track. I can't remember. Um, yeah, so those are those. So there's encounter cards. So there's different things. Raid the armory, rob the rich. So like take two gold from supply. There's money involved. There's just too many moving parts for the size of this game. It's like what it wants to be because the gameplay is that you'll have a hand of however many, five or seven cards. It'll be stuff like this, like one that treasure, let's see, um, these are treasure cards. Okay, yeah, it'll be these number cards, like 17 is the power, it'll do something special. And so like here's the Mechanical Dragon, it's just a big 20, which I think is the highest number. Um, there's something that can, can beat this, like with a special power. So on your turn, you guys are just gonna take these cards, flip them over, and high card or best effects card is going to win the round and then you'll take at the end of the phase you'll have your more pick of the treasure looks like it's kind of it's kind of a mess uh, luckily uh, my friend scott was able to go through these rules and figure out how to play i don't think i'd ever even bother with it and i don't think i would play it again it kind of sucks because that's cool art all well, art's pretty cool and it looks good looks like it would be fun it just wasn't very fun <laughs> And the point of games, in my opinion, is to be fun. Yeah, here's the green deck. So you'll pick a different color, so on and so on. Uh, this guy fit in there? Can't remember. So Captain's Wager, like I said, has the bidding aspect. You have to deal with these gold tokens. Let's take them out for now. Let's come up with quite a bit of stuff. It just wasn't that fun to me. Two dollars fifty cents. Uh, I got my money's worth. One playthrough is fine. I know it's kind of seems hard to offload these games. It's probably why it was in the thrift store. Uh, I'm sure, whoever played it was like, this isn't that fun. So not a great game, uh, Captain's Wager. Playable, yes. Worth it. 
I'd say no. It says 30 minutes, so I think once you get the hang of it, it probably goes quicker. And maybe with more people, it is more fun. Uh, as a two-player game, it's not very fun, in my opinion. Great components. Looks good. It functions. I just wasn't a huge fan of Captain's Wager. But thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are. Be sure to hit that like button. Comment and subscribe.